air pollution disrupts brain and influences for everyday activities. A few hours spent in polluted air it can reduce a person's ability to concentrate and interpret emotions it is based on a recent study. This could potentially affect everyday life and productivity. Man's ability to focus on everyday tasks it can be limited even by short-term exposure to contaminated the air. According to researchers from the University of Birmingham and the University of Manchester, it only takes a few hours to feel the effects. The results of the research were published in the journal Nature Communications. Scientists conducted experiments involving 26 healthy ones people to check how high concentrations of particulate matter PM, in the air affects people's cognitive abilities. The participants were first exposed to smoke fluttered from air candles by an hour. The control group was breathing fresh air during that time. Four of it hours before experiment. Researchers tested cognitive abilities participants in which they checked the working memory, selective attention, recognition of emotions, psychomotor speed, and concentration level. The same the tests were also carried out four hours after the experiment. Test analyses showed that even a short exposure to high PM concentration in the air hinders concentration, affects recognition emotions and weakens selective attention. This can affect the behavior of the individual and the ability to focus on everyday tasks. It also raises concerns about long-term effects. Air quality has not significantly affected vigilance psychomotor or working memory performance. Experts suggest that inflammation caused the air polluted may be responsible for these deficits. Researchers they noted that high concentrations of PM in the air reflected on selective attention and recognition of emotions, but not on working memory. This indicates that some brain functions are more resistant to short-term exposure the pollution. Our study provides convincing evidence that even short-term exposure to particulate matter may have immediate negative effects on brain functions necessary for everyday activities such as weekly supermarket shopping, said Dr. Thomas Faherty of the University of Birmingham, CEO author of the study. His colleague Francis Pope, CEO author of the publication, added that poor air quality affects intellectual development and employee productivity, what has significant social and economic implications. Reduced productivity it affects economic growth, which further highlights the urgent need for more severe rules on air quality and public health measures in the aim of combating the harmful effects of pollution on brain health, especially in heavily polluted urban areas, Pope said. Cognitive functions include a variety of mental processes, which are crucial for everyday tasks. For example, selective attention helps decision-making and goal-oriented behavior, such as prioritizing on the supermarket shopping list, while at the same time ignoring products from outside the list and resisting pulse purchases. Working memory serves as temporary working space for storage and processing of information. It is necessary for demanding tasks simultaneous processing and storage of information and demanding matters the multitasking. In turn, the socio-emotional cognition, which includes deterring and interpreting emotions in yourself and others, helps to direct socially acceptable behavior. Although these functions are separate and may seem completely different, they work together, allowing us to do everyday activities both at work, at school, and in other areas of life. Participants exposed to polluted air worse they saw whether the face was scared or happy, and that could have the impact on how we behave towards other people. There are studies associated on short-term air pollution and incidents such as violent crimes, especially in U.S. cities. It is possible to so pre-courage these things, said Faherty. Participants are exposed to air pollution was not so good at avoiding distractions information. 
This means that in everyday life they may have difficulty the concentration, he added. The authors of the publications indicate that their work emphasizes the need for further research to be established and understood mechanisms through which air pollution affects functions it's a cognitive. They also point out that it is urgent to look at the long-term effects of exposure to high PM concentrations, especially among sensitive groups, such as children and seniors. This study shows the importance of understanding the impact air pollution on cognitive function and the need to investigate the impact different sources of brain health pollution in sensitive members professional Gordon McFiggins of the University of Manchester has said. Air pollution negatively affects the system, cardiovascular and respiratory. There is also more and more research showing a link between high concentrations of particulate matter and neurodegenerative diseases, such as multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. The World Health Organization estimates that pollution air causes about 4.2 million premature deaths annually across the globe the world. Diagnosis of eye diseases What is angiography Indocyanin and when is it used? Angiography of endocyanin is an advanced technique diagnostically used in ophthalmology, which allows for a detailed assessment of vessels the bloody eye. With this method, doctors can get more precise information on the condition of blood vessels, which is crucial for planning effective treatment and monitoring of disease progression. What exactly is endocyanin angiography? What are the indications and contraindications to to carry out this study? Endocyanin angiography allows detailed assessment blood vessel of retinal and vascularity. It is particularly useful in diagnosing and monitoring of retinal diseases such as macular degeneration yellow age related, AMD, diabetic retinopathy, or various forms and inflammation of the vascularity. The process of endocyanin angiography involves intravenous administration of special dye green endocyanins. This substance is fast bind by plasma proteins and has the ability to emit light within the range, infrared. This allows you to get images of blood vessels that do not they are visible in the traditional eye photography. Unlike fluorescein used in fluorescein angiography, Green endocyanin permeates better by melanin and other pigments present in the eye, which allows for more accurate illustrating deeper the localized structures of the vessel. The test procedure is short and usually takes about 30 minutes. The patient sits or lies, and after the administration of the dye, a series of photos are taken using specialized equipment. These images allow the doctor to be accurately assess the condition of blood vessels, identify possible fluid leaks, areas of ischemia or other anomalies. Most often, endocyanin angiography is recommended for suspicuity or monitoring of conditions such as macular degeneration age-related AMD, especially its exudative form. It is also used in the diagnosis of other vascular diseases of the retina, such as vein clots retina, diabetic retinopathy, or choroid neovascularization. Thanks to the your ability to accurately map blood flow into deeper eye layer, endocyanin angiography helps detect abnormalities that may be invisible in standard fluorescein angiography. In clinical practice, the decision to perform angiography endocyanin is undertaken after a thorough assessment of the patient's condition and previous research results, to provide the fullest possible picture diagnostic and development of an optimal treatment plan. The test is relatively safe, but as in the case every injection intravenous, there is a risk of allergic reactions. For this reason, before conducting endokinetic angiography, the patient is asked about previous allergic reactions to contrasts or other chemicals. Another contraindication is severe liver disease. Indocyanin is metabolized in the liver, 
therefore patients with serious diseases of this organ may be at risk of metabolic failure, which it can lead to the accumulation of dye in the body. Pregnant women and nursing mothers should also avoid this study. Indoceanic angiography is an invaluable tool in modern ophthalmology, enabling precise diagnosis and effective monitoring of many diseases of volleyball and vascular, which in turn translates for better adaptation of the treatment plan and improvement of patient prognosis.